What is up, YouTube? Scarabrus here. Welcome back to another video. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you guys this error that I have been having on this game called Dead by Daylight. Uh, hold on, let me just close out of this real quick. Okay, let me just close out of everything, except for OBS, because that's how I'm recording. So let's just show you guys that I'm not in anything. Okay, forgive my desktop. It's crap, and it's messy, and I do have to organize it. I will. Okay, so guys, I was having this error on Dead by Daylight call where it was steam offline like i um this is a little bit of a different video for me if you guys are on my main channel this might not help you but if you guys are facing this error then this might help you a little bit it helped me uh i figured it out i looked on the website somebody said that it might work but it, most people were saying that it didn't i tried it and it did work for me so it might work for you this is how i fixed the problem so there was a problem where i had that it was steam offline originally it was 8013 but then that got fixed for me and then i had steam offline um i might show a screenshot of steam offline on the screen right now but then um you know i'm not gonna actually show it because i'm afraid that if i do it again then it might ruin the way that i fixed it and that i wouldn't be able to play it on here so what happened was i would open up the game and it would get to that screen where it would say press space to continue and i would and then it would tell me um steam was offline and i checked and steam was not offline and my internet was going so it was really weird well how i fixed it was I was looking on forums. I must have looked at like 50 different forums and I couldn't find a fix. Behavior Interactive isn't doing the best job with fixing all their errors. And I it takes a, takes maybe about 10 seconds more to do the fix. Basically, all you have to do is run Steam as an administrator from what I saw. So um, you can do it if you have a shortcut on the desktop. You just right click on it and then click run as administrator. If you don't, if you access it from the taskbar, I do not believe that you can do it from the taskbar, no. You cannot do it from the taskbar. So if you go to here, um, this is different on Apple. On Apple, I think you would probably have to have the Steam key. But um, if you go to here, then you click on that. You just type in Steam. Just type it in. And then you right-click on it and then click on as administrator. Okay. Well, so what's happening before is I would get into the game. First thing, there's three problems with it. And all of these were fixed. And I think they all had to do with the Steam Offline error. So, um, first one, it would ask me, would the app like to make changes to your device? Dead by Daylight, not Steam. Dead by Daylight would ask me that. Then the, um, the um, cutscene at the beginning, which I would like to just delete from my files, but I heard that that kind of messes with the game a little bit and could get you banned, and I don't really want to get banned. I've spent like like $50 on this game now, and I haven't, I'm, pr I'm still pretty bad at it. I'm trying to get better, but still, um, yeah. What I would have to do before is play it on my laptop where I was playing at 20 frames a second in the lowest possible quality, not even full screen. It was horrible, miserable, horrible graphics, but I could play it. And it was a very fun game, and I really wanted to get it working on the computer. Well, today I was finally looking at a forum, and I hadn't tried that yet. So the original thing that happened was the Steam Offline error thing. I'll put a screenshot of that up on the screen once again for you. Okay, so all you have to do is I'm just gonna use my shortcut because it's easier. You go to here, you click run as administrator. This will ask you every single time because you're running it as an administrator. This will not have anything to do with your error. If Steam asks you, that's good. If the game asks you, then that might be a little bit of a problem, but you just click yes, let let, let yourself. Uh, go to library, go to games. I, I haven't tried opening it up with the shortcut yet. I wouldn't, honestly, if you're gonna go to Steam as an administrator, I'd recommend going in and I'd recommend just playing it from your Steam library. So, I play it, and it opens. It would always open, and it would always get pretty far. Um, yeah, I've gotten some DLCs you can see down there. Uh, if you want to know how to get my mouse, um, I'll tell you what to do. I, I don't know how to do it on Mac, but I can. I know how to do it on Windows. I can tell you in the comments if you want to know how to get the cool mouse thing. Can you even see my mouse? Yeah, you can. Okay, just checking. So, let's have the game open up. Okay, here you go. So, the game's going to open up. It's going to open up like normal. So, it, basically, this is like the fixed version. You guys have seen how the game normally opens up. That's all this is going to be showing today. So, I can skip it normally. Before, it wouldn't let me skip it until the people were walking, and I found that kind of weird. It wouldn't let me skip it for a long time, at least five seconds or so. But, now you press space, and if you see the connecting to servers, the game's probably going to start, I would say. Um... Yeah, so that, that's how I fixed the Steam Offline error. Hopefully it helps some of you. I'm not going to be showing the original Steam Offline error, but as you can see, now I can play the game. I have found matches today and everything. It was my first time actually playing on high-quality games. It's been, it's been really fun. I 
I have been playing on my laptop, as you see, just getting the game today. I wouldn't have a level 13 Demogorgon. I know it's not really that high, but it's high for one single day of playing. No, I've had this guy for about a week. I've been leveling him up, but yeah, that's how to really, that's how to fix the Steam Offline error on Dead by Daylight, if you guys were wondering. If you guys are part of my normal videos, let me know if you would like to see um, a some gameplay of Dead by Daylight, now that I can finally play it on here. I can make some videos on it if you guys want. It's a really fun game, really interesting. Uh, warning, mature content, however, if you do play the game, if I do post videos, so it's not going to be like my normal Minecraft, Fortnite videos, it's going to be more like uh, violent people getting put on meat hooks type videos. It's not going to be, it's not, sorry guys about that, it's going to be um not really okay for little kids, so, yeah, but if the older kids, like maybe like around my age, like 10 to like 10 or above, I would say, uh, are watching this, then yeah, let me know if you guys want to see us, uh, some videos on this game. It's a really, really fun game. I enjoy playing it quite a bit. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm going to be exiting out of the game now. Um, hope that helps some of you. Um, if it doesn't, I can try to tell you some other things that I've tried. Uh, post some comments. Just have a discussion in the comments about this. And if you're one of my normal viewers, then this is a weird video. I don't care. Well, hopefully this helps some of you. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I can try to help you in other ways. Comment. See you guys later. Bye.